Hey everybody, it's Karen with the Homeschool Bunch and I just wanted to do a quick video. I think we may um, change around maybe our getting back into our themes throughout the week, but also I want to do some more videos just impromptu. And what I want to do today is I want to show you some new things that we got for our Bible study for homeschool that I'm really liking. I had one study that we were doing together, but I found a resource that has one for Micah and one for JC. So let me show you those real quick. These are by Bob Jones University and this is the Bible Truths. I got number one for Micah just because I thought it'd be a little bit easier for him to work on. Um, he's kind of in between first and second grade, but I thought this would be a little bit easier than the second grade. What I like about this is it's so in-depth. It's going to take him through so much that other curriculum is not. This is um, from the beginning from Genesis, um, takes you on through his promises, his people, Christmas, God sends his son, God guides his people, God rules over his people, God cares for his people. It's all the relationship of us and God and who he is to us. Here's one about Esther. God offers his son, Easter, I'm sorry, God offers his son and what he did for us on the cross. God strengthens his people. Unit 10 is God speaks with his people. And then they have some hymns and maps and a glossary in the back. Um, I like the lessons because they're pretty. We just started today, but this is like tomorrow's lesson will be on sky. You know, this is, you know, it's doing in the order of where God created the earth. But it gives them a few blanks to fill in or draw something in. And then a color picture. And then here, Day three, about land, sea, plants, and trees. So each um, day they'll have a different lesson. If we look in the back, I'll go ahead and turn you to that. I love that they have some of these old hymns. Oh Jesus, I have promised, because we don't, our church is very contemporary. So really they wouldn't get a lot of exposure to these unless we go home to my home church. And here are Bible land maps. They give you some for the ancient world, the patriarchs, journey from Egypt, Palestine during Christ's life, and the Roman Empire, which is going to go in, coincide too, with we're going to be studying in history. We're going to do story of the world, and we're starting with the ancient history in there. So here are some of the maps, just some simple maps, and that can just help them to see how much, how far the different cities were from each other. Here's one that was about how the, Paul, the Roman Empire was during Paul's life. And then back here, just some Bible truths, scriptures, there's some quick reference. Again, answering questions with the scripture, the best way to do it. And then they'll have a glossary and index where if there's a word that they're not sure about, there's all kinds of words back here in the glossary. This is the sixth grade one. One thing that I really loved today when we started, this got them to setting up a habit, sorry about that finger there, of a quiet time, taking time with God, walking with God. And then it goes through the covenant, the blood, um, Christmas, um, some about God's providence, His Word, the Bible. I just they, they do have preparation perforated edges so you can take them out if you want to and put them in a big notebook. This was the first one that we did and it talked about how habits something that you have to do over and over. A lot of times I've heard that you have to do it like 21 times in a row to, for it to become an automatic habit. Well, we decided that between eight and nine, we said by nine o'clock, he's gotta have his quiet time done. And this started them out with just a list of all kinds of scriptures and they just put the date of when they read it. And then he'll sit down and talk with me about what he read. I want to make sure that he really did read it. You know how kids can just rush through it. And even adults, we can go and have a checklist of scriptures. And we can just read through it and then get through and go, I really wasn't paying attention to what I was reading. Or I really didn't take it to heart. Here's some things on prayer. And then they'll start them in the beginning. And what our walk with God is like. So it's more on his level. And in the back also, after these lessons, here again are the Bible truths. And they'll go through all these different ones with questions. 
about his creation, about the word, about his resurrection, and it gives scripture to go back to, so that's great too. Um, and here's the glossary in the back too. I really love these, and I hope that the, I'll be able to let you know how they really work with the kids, um, but I really enjoyed it today, and I hope that you um, got a closer look on what it is. Thanks a bunch, and stay awesome.